Sri Lanka has a new Prime Minister, but the country's economic and political struggles continue. Ranil Vikramasinghe, who has stepped up to bat, has a tall order in front of him, but before he can do anything, he has to prove that he has majority support and then form a unity government to forestall an imminent economic collapse. While the veteran leader insists he has enough support to govern, the SJB opposition lawmaker Harsha De Silva publicly rejected his offer to take charge of the country's finance ministry. De Silva said that he was joining the people's struggle to topple President Gotabaya Rajapaksa and would not support any government that left Gotabaya in place. The Sri Lankan religious leaders have also criticized the process used to choose the new prime minister, saying that the people's struggle had been ignored. Me sampurne niti virodi visheshe ma me rate adapatna jana aragale sam kami aragale sampurne nosalaka hari mak jana adibati tu me karane barapatala varadak eni sa api itu manta karuna bengkino rate jana tau illa city na paridi kati itu karane me wilawe me patkiri ma maging jana tau aragale tawat naraka atetapat tenne puluni kisise jana tau mewan patkiri mak piligan na chudana ne. On the streets of Sri Lanka, its residents express, express mis, mixed feelings about their Prime Minister. The country had lifted its curfew temporarily on Friday for eight hours, allowing citizens to stock upon essentials. Security forces could be seen on the streets, maintaining law and order. Rata minusu kena di dia ada, ya mak keranda pulang kira dia na, namut me, bagi desa pahlawan ya, mati itu la nang, mang etarang. Me arah kali nawat nawat tan ni, api ta api sa, jana ta awal de, saada ni aku lebih jeda wasir. Eh inda mama kian ni kiamat ti, agar amat ya, ni we kau rupat terat, jana ta awal de sa, saan ni aku lebih ni kang, api me arah kali nawat tan ni. The new Prime Minister has said that the protests wanting the ouster of the President should continue as is and assured that the police will not interfere with the protesters who have set up camp in front of his office in Colombo demonstrating for him to step down. Vikramasinghe faces twin challenges ahead of him. The first one is uniting a fractured parliament and then tackling soaring inflation and dwindling foreign reserves that have left the country with fuel and medicine in a short supply. And for more details, our correspondent, the Sunni Athara, sends us the latest from Colombo. Take a look. As the leader of the United National Party, Ranil Vikramasinghe assumes duties as the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's political front appears to be divided more than ever with the main opposition party, along with independent MPs, stating that they will not be supporting the appointment of the new Prime Minister, which only indicates and brings about the question as to whether the new Prime Minister can actually garner the majority of confidence in the Parliament when it convenes on Monday. Now, Sri Lanka's political crisis appears to still remain unresolved just as much as its economic crisis with Parliament set to convene next week with the possibility of a new cabinet that is also to be appointed the coming week. Stay with Weon as we bring you the very latest reporting from Colombo. I'm Dasmi Athauta. Weon World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.